Greetings and thanks for tuning in today. I appreciate you and I appreciate the time that you're taking to watch this video and learn a little bit on how you can relieve stress through stretching. A lot of people hold their tension in their neck muscles. So I want to share some stretches with you. My name is Dr. Jeanette DeWitt. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and a health esteem coach. I want to help you relieve some stress today, tomorrow, and in days to come. Number one, before you stretch, if you've been sitting for a little bit, if you've been kind of sedentary and haven't been moving around, I definitely encourage you to do some just active range of motion so that you can pump some blood flow into the muscles that you are going to stretch. Today, for these purposes, because so many people hold their tension and their stress in their neck and in their tops of their shoulders, I want to focus on three muscles that can help eliminate or relieve stress in those areas. So number one, if we look at this muscle right here, it is a major cause of neck tension and headaches as well as migraines. This muscle, I like to call it the question mark muscle, not because it's shaped like a question mark, but because it can refer symptoms like a question mark pattern. So when this muscle is tight through here, you can actually get symptoms in the shape of a question mark on the side of your head. And that creates all kinds of havoc as well as tension and radiating symptoms. We don't want any of that. So let's go ahead and pump some blood flow into that muscle. With this muscle, what you wanna do is act like you're looking up into the ceiling. So we can do five reps of just looking up to the ceiling, and then you're gonna do five the other way. Sometimes people say they hear some crunching and cracking and their neck makes noise. What we call that officially is some crepitus. And if you hear that, it just, and you don't have pain associated with it, that can be very, very normal. If you have sharp pain with anything that I'm showing you today, please stop. Either reach out to me, reach out to your healthcare professional, reach out to a physical therapist in your area. You should not have pain with exercise. And also, while we're on that topic, just know that these exercises that I'm showing you are not intended to diagnose or treat you. I'm just showing you some healthy tips. So we pump some blood flow into those muscles. Now what you're gonna do is the movement that you just did actually becomes the stretch. So you're going to look up to that ceiling and you are going to hold that for 30 seconds. Now, 30 seconds may seem like a really long time to feel like you're doing nothing, but it actually is a requirement for your brain to send a signal to the muscle to actually relax. So go ahead and take the time to hold that for 30 seconds. Then you'll do the other side. So you should feel that right in through your neck just a nice, easy stretch. When you start to feel a stretch, you want to stop and hold. Do not try and go farther than what is comfortable. Do not yank on your neck or any stretch for that matter. Keep a nice steady hold for 30 seconds. Now I'm doing a lot of talking, so I'm not sure if I'm getting to 30 seconds or if I'm surpassing 30 seconds, but you can watch the second hand on a clock or set a timer on your cell phone and make sure that you get your 30 seconds in. So that's exercise number one, the muscle that we are stretching for that is a fancy big name called the sternocleidomastoid. So you just did a sternocleidomastoid stretch. We shorten that and call it the SCM stretch. The second stretch to relieve some stress is the upper tra trapezius muscle. This is a common area right through here. So what we wanna do is pump some blood flow into that muscle as well and just five 
gentle side bends. Four, five. And then we're going to do five to the other way. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to stretch. So we're just bringing the ear to the shoulder. And again, we're going to hold 30 seconds. I'm going to actually watch the clock so I know that I'm getting to 30 seconds this time. And as you are stretching, keep in mind, you can do these stretches in sitting, you can do them in standing. I personally recommend that if you have a sitting job, that you go ahead and stand up and do these exercises just to get out of that seated posture. But if you have a standing job, feel free to take a little break and sit down and do these stretches. It's fine either way. All right, I believe we hit about 30 seconds there, so gently come out of that. And then you'll side bend to the other side for 30 seconds. Now, one thing about stretching is you always want to kind of be warmed up a little bit. So I don't recommend popping up out of bed and start stretching right away. You've been laying down, you haven't had gravity going against your body yet, and you haven't been moving. So you, you're coming out up out of bed and your muscles are kind of cold, meaning they're not warmed up. So what I recommend is either if you get a hot shower in the morning, stretch after or in the hot shower at the end of that shower, or move around a little bit, do some activity. You can come out of that stretch, that's 30 seconds. Do some activity, you know, get ready for work, get ready for your day, and then stretch for a little bit. Another common question I get is, is it better to do all the stretches at once or is it better to do a little bit throughout the day? It really depends on your lifestyle. If you have just exercised and worked out, I highly recommend that you stretch within 30 to 60 minutes after working out. Stretch the muscles that you emphasized in your workout. For posture stress, stretches or stress reliever stretches like this, say that 10 times fast, right? For stress relieving stretches like this, honestly, you can pick an exercise and do one every hour, or you could do these and do a couple of them every two, three hours. It's okay to stretch often and throughout the day. Now, I want to leave you with one more stretch, so this will be stretch number three, and we're going to look at the levator scapulae muscle. And this is the muscle that if you wake up and you're like, oh, I slept on my neck wrong, this is usually the culprit. So when you stretch this, just be gentle with it. We pump blood flow, we pump blood flow into the area again. So we just look down to the opposite elbow, do five of those, three, four, five. And then we do the other side, one, two, three, four, five. And then we go ahead and stretch in the same movement that we used to increase blood flow to the area. So we're gonna hold down. You should feel a stretch from the base of your skull all the way down to your shoulder blade. We're gonna do 30 seconds again. It's a nice, easy stretch. Stretches should not be feeling like you're being pulled or yanked on. They should feel nice and gentle, and when you start to feel a little bit of a pull or you start to feel a little bit of a stretch, that's where you actually want to stay. That's probably about 30 seconds. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna look at the other opposite elbow. And again, you should feel a stretch right through here. When you're standing, when you're sitting, try and maintain good posture. You will not have as good of a stretch if you're rotating your shoulders or round rounding your shoulders forward. So try and sit up fairly straight and or stand up straight so that you get a really good effective stretch. Plus it gets you out of that computer posture. That's probably about 30 seconds. So key tips with stretching, only stretch to where you start to feel the pull. Do not try and yank or, or go farther than is comfortable. Second of all, try and stand or sit with good posture. 
so that you're not hunched forward. You want to get the optimal stretch that you can. And if you have poor posture, it's not going to be as effective. Number three, always warm up the muscle before you stretch it. So you notice that I just used the movement of the stretch and did a gentle range of motion five times and then I held that same position for 30 seconds. That's an easy peasy way to warm up the muscles in the direction that you plan to use them for the stretch. I hope that you find that this help is helpful to you. I hope you find value in these stretches and that you feel a little bit looser in your neck with less tension as well. I wish you the best. If you have questions or comments, go ahead and put them in the feed below and go ahead and share this out as well to, so that you can bless someone else and help them relieve any tension. Thanks a lot and have a blessed day.